Warning, this article contains spoilers about the series premiere of Cruel Summer. Cruel Summer's new assistant principal shouldn't be anywhere near kids, but Martin Harris is good at keeping secrets. Too good. The two-hour series premiere of Freeform's dark new thriller dropped a lot of bombs throughout both episodes about Kate Wallace, Olivia Holt, disappearance and miraculous rescue, and how Jeanette Turner, Kiara Aurelia, is accused of knowing where she was and not saying anything to help her. But one of the most shocking reveals was that Martin, Blake Lee, the seemingly nice new pillar of the Skyland, Texas, community, is behind Kate's disappearance and was shot during her rescue. Since Cruel Summer isn't told chronologically, the story is being pieced together bit by bit in each episode, on the same days across three consecutive summers in the 90s, we still don't have the full picture of what happened to Kate and how or why Martin kidnapped her. So who got series star Lee to unpack that premiere twist about his character and tease where the mystery goes from here? Cruel Summer Blake Lee in Cruel Summer, credit, Bill Matlock, Freeform Entertainment Weekly, your character is accused of kidnapping Kate and was killed during her rescue in a shootout, all in the series premiere. That's a lot. Blake Lee, there's a lot of things unanswered, but that will start to be revealed throughout the season. A lot of it is surprising, so what people think of who Martin is quickly turns, and then where you think that relationship is and who he is to Kate, everything is a constant shock. When you first signed on to the show, did you know the full season arc of the character? At the very start, no, I didn't know that the full season arc. What I did know was that Martin is someone who on the outside presence is one thing but inside there's a lot more to him, and it would slowly be revealed and he would slowly start to unravel, and you would see the darker parts of him. He's new to this community and he basically is presenting himself the way he wants to be viewed, he's schmoozing the parents, and he's so great with the kids. It's why nobody would suspect him to be this villain. Villains don't present themselves as villains, and so when I auditioned for the show, I did the scenes almost overly nice, because I think anyone that is doing the unspeakable doesn't want to get caught and often bad people don't consider themselves bad people, you know what I mean? So is that the same way you approach playing him during filming? Yeah, I was just like, I'm not going to play the villain, I'm not going to play the evil, I'm going to play the principal. I'm going to play the things that I can relate to and wrap my head around because I don't know what it's like to manipulate people and groom someone.